lecture. So any day you miss, I can't, I can't vouch for what you would have missed that day. So just try to make it a date, 5 p.m. on Sundays. Most people say it's a convenient time for them. And I know it's a convenient time for me. And I wouldn't want um, any other day. I'm sure we don't want any other day. So just try, put a reminder. It doesn't last more than an hour. I try as much as possible to start on time and finish on time. All right, so that's my Microsoft Word page. And we're kicking off, okay? So we used to our Microsoft Word documents and yours may look a little different than mine, depends on the version you're using. It also depends on if you're using the Office 360 or the normal office that we are used to, okay? All right, so I think mine is Office 360, I'm not sure. But I think so. All right. So you, I introduced Microsoft Word last week, and I said that you have your your fast track bar where you have um, <clears throat> things that you want to have easy access to, and the name of your document up here. You have your two bars. Okay. If you click on either of these, it gives you more options. And here you have your quick access bar, so where you have shortcuts also. Okay. Right here. That's the ruler and you have different views, different kinds of views. So just to move straight, I know someone asked last week, how do you create page numbering such that different parts of your work have different page numberings? And that's important because we all know that in a dissertation, we have preliminary pages and you have the main pages starting from your chapter one. Preliminary pages can be your title page, can be your certification, can be your acknowledgement, and so on and so forth. Table of contents. And those page numbers are usually in um, I, 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 I think those are Roman numerals or Arabic. I, I keep switching them. While the, from the main body of your work, that's your chapter one, you start from your number one, number two. I think those are now your Roman numerals, okay? So you start from Arabic and you move to Roman. So you want that separation, okay? So how do you do that? First of all, you have to understand that you, you can make sections in your Microsoft Word document. And only by creating sections can you actually delineate formattings in the different sections. So page numbering is a kind of formatting. You have other kinds of formatting also that you can apply to different sections of your work, okay? You have other kinds of formatings that you can apply to different sections of your work. So I'm just going to give us a quick poll for the next two seconds. A poll will pop up on your screen. If you can create a section break, say yes. If you can, say no. And let's see if, um, let's see how, much, how many of us can actually make a section break compared to the rest of us. So just like 10 more seconds and based on our response, that would help me knowing my audience better. All right, so that's for 30 seconds. All right, so I've ended the poll and we have 91% of us saying no, we can't create a section break and 9% of us responding that we can create a section break. So that's actually a very wide, you don't need any test of significance to actually test this. Okay, so, all right. So that means this lecture is very relevant to us, okay? All right, so let me go back to my screen. All right, so how do you create a section break? So basically you go to view, go to insert, sorry, go to insert. First of all, you have to put your cursor in front of where you want the section break to be. So this is my page one, my background, I'm sure you can see my screen. So I want the from man-made impurities to be in a different section. So I'm going to go to insert. On that insert, you will see break. There's an arrow 
beside it. And on that break, you will see page break, you will see column break, you will see section break in bracket next page, section break in bracket continuous page, section break in bracket odd page, and section break in bracket even page. So what that does is that if you want a section break and at the same time you want it to, you want to start a new page at the same time, that's a page break, you click on section break bracket next page. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that man-made impurities downwards has moved to a new page. Not only has it moved to a new page, it has actually started a new section of my work, okay? So if you had other subheadings, for example, I'm just going to start my background. Let's say my background is my chapter one, right? I want my chapter one to be in a new page. And I'm going to simulate all the other subheadings we have in our work. So usually we have certification page. On another page, we would have um, dedication, okay? On another page, we would have acknowledgements. On the, on the main first page is usually the title page, right? So the main first page is usually the title page of our work. So I'm just simulating the different subheadings that we have in preliminary pages of our work. So right now, what do I want to do? I'm going to remove all my, um, I already inserted some page numbers into this work. So I'm going to So I want my title page, my certification page, my acknowledgement page to all be in Arabic numerals. And I want just from my chapter one to start the main numbering of my work. So I'm going to start from chapter one and tell Microsoft Word that this starts a new section of my work. So I'm going to go to chapter one, I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to go to break, and I would say section break, next page section break next page so section break but i want it to be on a new page i don't want it to share a page with what comes before it okay now i'm going to go to where i want the first set of numberings to be for my title and i'm going to insert page numbers insert page numbers under insert you have page numbers so under insert i go to page numbers where do you want the page number to be? At the bottom of the page on the right. Go to Format. On that Format, you tell Microsoft Word you want the number format to be in I, 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 I. And you want it to start at I. You can actually start from any number you want to start from. Now, because this is the first section of your work, you can't continue from previous section, neither can you determine for any section. So because it's the first section of your work, you will just simply leave it at start at I. And if you want it to show on the first page, you click on that button. But usually our title page does not have a page number. So you would remove that check on show number on first page and say, okay. So what you would see here is that you have your page numbers. I think I deleted my footer. Okay, so you can see the page numbers there. I, so the first page. I actually said you shouldn't have, I don't know why I changed it. Doesn't have, the next page has, 
this i need to i need to repeat it again because i i actually did so i want to insert page numbers remove show on first page format change it to i i i i i, I start at i and say okay okay now you to see that it has skipped the title page and started from the certification page, although it's made it to, I'll have to correct that, dedication, acknowledgement, and continued even to chapter one. Now I'll explain why it continued. We did not indicate for it to stop. Now you remember that chapter one starts a new section. So I'm going to now go to my the page where I have chapter one because I know that I have already put this as a new section. I would go back to insert and go to break and go to page numbers. So I'm going to insert page numbers now. It's still at the bottom right. I'm going to show it on the first page, which is chapter one. And I'm going to click on format. I'm changing it back to one, two, three. And I'm not continuing from previous section. I'm starting it from a new section, start at one. So in inserting um, formatings, um, Microsoft Word inserts it on um, in sections. So it's going to take this section that I'm working on, which I've already put in before, and start a new page numbering from that section. So let me let me insert my break and again because it seems the break was not inserted properly. All right, better now. All right, so I've inserted the break afresh. So you can see chapter one starts from page one, number one. There are so many inserts, inserts here. Somebody is raising up their hand. I was working on this document before now. So I'll just have to copy and paste it in a fresh. Is someone raising up their hands? Yes. Okay, Meredith, um, kindly unmute, please. I'm putting up my hand. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Thank you. I I don't know. You talked about the type of the um, Microsoft Word one is using, but I've been trying to look for the option of um, break after clicking uh, clicking on insert. I can't find it. Okay, so if you click on insert, if you click on insert and you go to page numbers, page number. Page number, okay. I've gotten that. Yes. So if you're on page number, you click on page number, it opens the dialog box and you continue from there. Yeah. Okay. But what I have, the options that I have are on that page number include uh, um, top page, bottom page, page margin, current position, format, page numbers, remove page numbers. Those are the only options I have. Yes, so your, your, you, you see top page. So if you have insert page numbers and you have position, right? So if you want it to be on the top, bottom, that is for position. Right, left is for alignment. Show number on first page or not. Then if there is any more or there is a button for format, Formats would ask you, is it in one, two, three formats, or is it A, B, C, or is it I, 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 I? Okay, so you should have that. Then you should also have where it says page numbering, continue from previous section, start at, then you can, there's a box there to choose one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Okay, so those are the options that you would have there. Ma, I, I think if you want all of us to get this thing, you probably have to like um, now I can't take it as that slowly so that we would fun. I said if you want us all to be able to pick this thing, even if it, if this is the only thing we're able to get there, I think you will have will have achieved a lot. 
So if I want all of us to get it, what do I do? Please go about it slowly. Okay, so I should... And get, re and get responses from us whether we are getting it or not. All right. You, know, you are just flowing and um, you don't know if you are able to carry us along or not. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you for your observation. All right. So um, someone else, should, let me just respond to you. I hope you can see the pop-up box that comes up on my screen. So I'm going to allow participants to unmute themselves and see how that works out. All right, Gani, you please go ahead. Although we can unmute ourselves right now. And I've gotten to this box. You are currently, I am there. Okay, so I just want to be sure that you can see my box. Okay, so I'm happy. So we can see the box, okay? All right, so let me just hear from one more person. Didi, please speak. Chukwemeka Didi, can you ask a question, please? All right, so Francis Okeke, you have something to say? Yeah, um, I think um, the person complaining that he can't see the page break is using the same um, version of Microsoft Word that I'm using. Um, if the person well, goes he has, to insert- He has seen it now. Okay, I wanted to just correct him and show him where it is. Thank you. Okay, I think he has seen it. Okay, um, oh. Madam President, you want to speak? Yes, um, I think the the last speaker, he was trying to say something because yeah. personally, when I click on the inserts, the, um, drop, the box that drops on your screen doesn't drop on mine. So I don't know whether I'm using an older version. Okay, so probably it's the same version that Francis is using. So maybe Francis can help. When you click on inserts, yes, and I'm you... seeing yes, I don't, I don't get doesn't come out. This your this one has smart art chat and the rest. You don't need all out. this. All you need is break page numbers. So I can't can... even find the break when I click on inserts. So break should be there. Francis, is that are you seeing break under your inserts? See, Francis was helping out. I don't know. Yes. Once the version of uh, Microsoft Word I'm using, once you click on insert on the third column of it, after cover page, blank page, the next thing you see is page break. And this our version doesn't <laughs> give you, it doesn't give you all those options in your own. It just goes ahead to break the page. For yeah, you. just ignore all these. Now we're not talking about this today. All we're talking about is the break and the page numbers. So if you have page numbers and you have break, I think we can at least have today's class. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I don't really know the versions, and I can't really speak for all the versions, but I know that break and page numbers are under inserts, okay? If you have another version, probably you can check under view or under format to see if page numbers is there. Because I know some versions, it may be under view, some others may be under format. So if you can't find it under inserts, please check view, check format, check view, check format. It's going to be under one of the two, okay? All right. So. Um, let me take it again and let me be much slower. Let me take it again and let me be much slower. So I just want to remove all the previous section breaks I have put in this document so that we are starting um, afresh, okay? All right, so like I said before, you have um, different sections. You have to first of all, create those sections of your work before you can insert page numbers for the different sections in different formats, for the different sections in different formats. So the first section of my work has my title page, has certification page, has dedication, 
and has acknowledgement page, okay? So I'm going to remove all the page numbers. And the next section of my work starts from my chapter one. So the first thing I'm going to do is to inform Microsoft Word that chapter one is a new section of my work. Chapter one is a new section of my work. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to tell, go to break and I'm choosing section break next page. Section break next page. So just to confirm that I've actually put my section break where I want it to be. There is a kind of view. Sorry about my, it's. Where I can see all my breaks. So I can see the section break here and it's on the next page. So it has actually inserted it where I want it to be, okay? So the next step is now to put page numbering for the different sections. Page numbering for the different sections. I'm going to start from my first section. Remember my second section started from chapter one. So for my first section, make sure that your cursor is visible on the page where you want to insert a section break. So this is insert. And this is page numbers. I have already inserted a section break. Now I'm going to insert page numbers for the different sections, starting from the first section. I want it to be at the bottom and I want it to be on the right. I don't want it to show on the first page. Or I want it to show on the first page. And I go to format. I want it to be in Arabic numerals. And I'm starting from the first number, which is I, and I say, okay, and okay. So if you go bottom right, you will see your page numbers in Arabic numeral. I, 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 V. And this is a new section. So it starts from one. The previous numberings here were not removed. We had numbered this before, okay? So I'm now, I have now deleted those numberings so that we can actually start afresh. So now this is a new section from this page. So I'm now going to insert a new page, set of page numberings. So when I deleted that, all the other numberings deleted. Sorry about that, please. Some people are raising up their hand. Just give me a few seconds and I would respond to all of you, please. All right, so for the next section, I'm going to where the section has started. I go to insert page numbers. I want it to be at the bottom right. Show on that first page, format. And I'm not going to say continue from previous section. If not, if the previous section stopped at four, it will continue from five. I'm going to start afresh from one and change this format to the normal Roman numeral that we are used to. And I'm starting at one. Okay, so from chapter one, that started at one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And you were to, if you were to insert a table of a, if you were to insert a, what do they call it now? If we were to insert a con table of content, we would see 
the different page number. So let me just use this as a recap for table of contents, many of those of us that were not here previously. So I'm going to use this page as my table of contents, okay? So I'm going to go to, I think that was under references. Yes, so under references, table of contents, I'm going to choose a style. I choose this style and it would insert it here. Now, because I've basically um, not chosen it myself, this is like automatic labeling. It has labeled this. I'm going to include these headings as headings in my table of content. So acknowledgement, remember what I said last week, you use your headings. These are the headings that you have. I'm sure you would have it in your own Microsoft Word. So this is heading one. This is a subheading under heading one, heading two, heading three, and as many as it is. So heading one is acknowledgement. All the first major headings are are called heading ones. You can modify it to what you want it to be. Let's assume this is also a heading. Then I'm going to go to my table of contents and I'm going to update it so that these headings and their numberings would also show. So this is my table of contents. I've clicked inside the box. I'm going to go to this arrow beside it, update table. And I'm not going to update only the page numbers. I'm going to update the entire table when I say, okay. So you can see that it has put the title, the certification, dedication, acknowledgement, and it has put their page numbering in Roman Arabic numerals. It has gone further to put, leave those other headings which have already pre-selected before now, and their own numberings are in Arabic numerals. Okay, so at this point, I'll just pause and take a few questions. So, Meredith, please, can you assist me in unmuting one after the other to ask their questions? Uh, can you hear me? Good evening. We can hear you. Good evening. Okay, okay, sorry. Um, mine is not actually a question. The other time we were talking, uh, many people were saying they were not seeing the uh, break under the insert. I think from the version they are using is also what I'm using. If you click on insert, what you are going to see three columns down is the page break. That would create normal page break. But if you want to see what she's talking about, that is the session break. Okay, so I've lost you and I can't hear you anymore. I don't know if that's only me or that's everyone. Meanwhile, the poll is going on again. Um, it's more like a post survey to see if we've actually gotten how to create a section break. Okay, so to just be there for a minute. If he's no longer there, can the next person speak? He was trying to explain to us how to find where insert break is in your own Yes, version. can you hear me now? Sorry. Okay, you're back. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes. So I said, it's on the main menu, click on page layout. Then you are going to see breaks. Under these breaks, there is a section for page break and section breaks with all the options that you've been trying to explain to explain to us. Thank you very much. Okay, um, I don't know. Can you just hold on a minute or a second? Um, who was speaking? Is that Gani who? Nelson was speaking. Nelson. Yes. Okay. So Nelson, while um some other people are speaking, um, I don't know if you're using a laptop or if you can actually share your screen. I would like you to share your screen for the benefit of those that are using that version and don't know how to go about it so that they can actually see your version and see exactly where you're referring to. Okay. So please um you come in as um a panelist and 
I will stop my share. I think you can share your screen. Okay, so now say, please, can you share your screen and please show us exactly where to click for that version? Thank you. All right, so a post um, poll has, has seen a remarkable increase from 3% to 66% of us saying we can make a section break. So that means there is at least, there is a, this is something um, measurable, okay? And although some of us still cannot, although only 38 people have responded, but that's still better than what we had starting. So while we are waiting for Nelson to share his screen, I don't know if he's doing that. Nelson, are you doing that? Is it possible? Okay, if that's not possible, let's move on. Let's take one or two other questions. All right. Olamide, can you speak, please? Just ask a question. Gani, is your hand still up? Thank you very much. Yeah. This is Olamide. Um, while you were talking about the section break, I was trying to do it, and I, I think I placed my cursor in the wrong place. So I've broken some of my work in between. So I, one section is supposed to be on the same section, but it's now broken in between, and I'm trying to undo it. I can't, so I don't know okay. how to undo it. Okay, all right. Don't, don't, don't be scared. Okay, you can undo it. So just go to view. All right. And you're viewing print layout. So you want to view outline. You want to view outline, or you want to click, there's a, there's a paragraph button, which I actually clicked on my screen. I don't know if you saw it. If you can see my screen, you can see this button here. It shows all your formatting marks in your, in your screen. So if you have this button on your screen, show formatting marks. Please click on it. Is, it is, is that under view? It's under home. Home, okay, let me go back to home. Yeah, just okay, I'll see this. So just click on it. Okay. You can see all these okay. matting marks showing on my screen, right? Yes. Yeah, so just yes. go, you can see section break here. So all you need yeah. to do is highlight the section break like I've done and click on your backspace. Okay. And that section break will have deleted okay i'm sure you were able to do that okay. all right yeah. um do we have another question one last person okay i can't see any hands up let me day if you're okay you can actually take your hands down all right so we said we're going to create section breaks and we're going to insert page numbers and i'm sure we've been able to do this too please if you have any more questions um okay daniel is still sharing his screen please just raise up your hand and while Daniel is trying to show those of us that have this version of Word exactly where to go to. Please, if you have this version of Word, watch and see where to go to. Daniel, go, go on, please. I'm sure you can unmute yourself. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I was okay. waiting for for me okay. to be unmuted. That's fine. Okay, yes. So you can see where my cursor is. I don't know if you can see the cursor. We page can layout. See. Yeah. Yes, then under the page layout, you have your page break here, your breaks here. And okay. if you click the breaks, you see page breaks and then section breaks. Okay. So what you were trying to tell us is the next page that yes. is on that section. Break. Yes, next you page. You break a page, it will just take you to a fresh page within the same section. Yes. But if exactly. you do next page section break, it will take you to a separate section New where section. you can now use different numbers for different sections of the document. Thank okay. you. Okay, so while you're there, Nelson, I think I'll just be talking while you'll be demonstrating for those of them that have this um this version. So can you just create, put in your cursor on a new chapter and let's actually create a section break and let's also do the numberings <clears throat> so that they can actually get it. 
completely. So if you can just put okay. a new heading, if you don't have any heading indicating chapter one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so put the cursor in front of that and say, in, uh, let's be in front of the C. Yes, so insert break, section break. Next page. Next page. Um, we want to be sure that we have inserted it. Okay, so can you go to the home screen? Go to home. And let's see our uh, formatting characters. I don't know if you have that um, reversed P somewhere in your screen. Go to home. Yeah, click on that P. Okay, so go above that. Scroll down. I think you have to scroll downwards the other way, opposite direction. Scroll the other way. Just before it, yeah. Um, okay, so that's your section break here. So you can actually see the section break. Thank you. So now um, remove that the formatting character view. So you can actually delete the section break from here for those of you that may put it in by mistake. Now let's insert page numbers. So let's insert a, a different kind of page numbers before that section break and a new kind of page numbers after the section break. And the same goes for page layouts. So I know that was another um, issue of concern. You just want a page layout landscape just for one page because of a, an oversized table. And most times when we click on page layout, what happens is that every other thing before, after it changes to landscape, and we don't want that. Okay, so let's just finish with this. So go ahead, Nelson. Um, where is your cursor? It's before the page break. So insert page numbers. So where do you find page numbers here? Under insert, right? Insert. Look, so you have to click on the arrow beside it, yeah. And you want to go to format page numbers. Format page numbers. So you have to click on format page numbers. That's where the entire exactly. So this is where you want to be, format page numbers. And like I said, the first um, box there says number format. So let's change that to I, 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 I. Exactly, and you go down and you say start at I. And say, okay. All right, um, can we see where the numbers inserted? Is it at the top or at the bottom? Okay, can you click on your header or your footer? It's like your footers or your headers are not visible. The arrows underneath, <clears throat> underneath it. Okay, so I yeah, let's go to the footer. Okay, so let's repeat the process. Let's insert it again. Insert page numbers. So first of all, let's put where we want it to be before we format it. All right, so we want it to be at the bottom middle, that's fine. So we have seen it now, okay, that's fine. So now let's go to the next section, chapter one. So from chapter one onwards, we want a different kind of numbering. So just click on the page with chapter one. And let's go back to insert page numbers. 
So I'm not seeing your cursor on that page. The ruler is not showing on that page. I'm not sure it's on that page. So can I? Can you click directly on chapter one? So we are seeing the chapter one itself. Yes, click on it. Click inside this. So now when you see this ruler on the left, it shows that you have highlighted the page. So page number, um, the arrow format, format page numbers. Um, you're not continuing from previous section, you're starting a new section. So start at one and okay. All right, so if we can actually see that that page now has its own numbering. So we have to, we have to, uh, yeah, so that's number one and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, Daniel. Please, if you have any question that has to do with this version, this is the time to ask your question before he changes, I change it back to my screen. So one or two persons raise up their hands. I think their hands are down. And let me check the chat box if we can see any other question. Okay, I see most of the questions had to do with versions of Word, versions of Word. So we've sorted that out with this. Um, let's still use this version since we are on this screen before we move on. Can we create a different layout for a different section of our work? So we have we want to put a, an oversized table from the page that has chapter one, because that is a different section. Remember that that section that you want to put a different formatting, you create a section before it. After it, you create another section. Any change you make inside that section remains in that section, okay? So if your, your landscape, you want to change to landscape just one page, you click in front of the page as the first line of that page and insert a new section. After that page, you also insert a new section. So if that is section two, the next one will be section three and it will start a new page. So your formatting remains only in this particular section. So let's change chapter one page to a different layout. So you are you're on that page, you go to page layout. Okay, so we are going to page layout, which is here, page layout, just at the right of insert, you have page layout, yeah. Click on it. And where you have um, orientation, you're clicking on the arrow, on the drop down arrow beside it. So if you want to have more options to choose from, always use the little arrow beside it. Okay, so let's leave that place. Don't click on that. Go to this little arrow at the end of this entire box. Yes, the little arrow that is pointing um, where you have page set up at the extreme right of page set up, you have a little arrow there. So go to that arrow there. On that columns, you have page set up. Go to the right of page set up. You see a little arrow. You've, you've gone too far, Nelson. Nelson, under hyphenation, go down. Under hyphenation. Yes, there's a little arrow down, right? Just underneath it at the extreme right there. Yes, exactly. Click on that arrow. Thank you. All right. So now this is the page setup box we want. So now please change it to landscape and on that down at the bottom, you will see where it says apply to, apply to, and it says this section. So this section means the current section you are working on. Click on the arrow beside this section. You have other options. You can apply that orientation. So it can be this point forward. It can be the entire document. It can be this section. So you see the importance of section breaks. So because you have already put in a section break, before and after that page you're interested in. That section stands alone. So click on this section and click on OK. And any other change you want to make within here would only affect this section. 
and you can see if you scroll before it you see that the orientation remains the same before it only in that section and after it if you had any other page after it the orientation would also remain the same thank you do you have any hands up all right so in the absence of any hands up i'll take um questions from the chat box and i'll see please if you want to put your hands up this is the time to put your hands up all right thank you very much nelson i'm sure um we were able to get that if you have any questions for nelson please ask it now i'm about to take my screen back Do we have any hands up? There's a question in the chat box. Can you read it, please? Please, what's the difference between section and chapter break? OK, so chapter break is a type of section break. OK, so chapter break is a type of section break. So you can actually use section break for chapters or you just go straight and say chapter break but it's a kind of chapter break so there's really not much different chapter break will usually start on a new page right which is a type of section break for a new page also any other question another person is asking how do you confirm the section break how do you confirm you insert section break yeah, so if you if you want to confirm that you have done it correctly, like I said, all you need to do is go to view invisible formats. So if you're on the home screen, right, you see this little uh, um, P pointing in the opposite direction, that helps you to view all the invisible formats that you have in your document. So if you, if you toggle it off, it's, you can't see. If you toggle it on, you can see it. So it shows you where you have indentation, paragraphs, section breaks, you can see page breaks, all those things that are not visible to your naked eye are all going to be visible with that view. So if you want to be sure you've inserted it, you would see it. And if you want to delete it, you just highlight it and you delete it. What's the next question, please? No other question. Okay, so um, final words. If you have any final questions, um, you can actually ask your questions now. So somebody was asking how to use a Mac. So this is actually a Mac. So let's see. So we want to is, um, change the orientation. Remember that this already is a section. Chapter two is already a section. So I'm going to go after chapter two and insert a new section break. Next page. And I want, and I want to have only this page as landscape. So I'm going to be on this page and I'm going to go to I think, and there's even a place that says under edits, undo section breaks. I don't know if you have it there. So you can check on your own version. Under edits, there's a toggle that says undo section break. So please check there if you can actually undo a section break from there, okay? So under format, if you want to format your document, I hope it's there. Okay, so let me try this. So we want to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. So mine is under format. He just did his for the other versions. And I'm going to go to layout and I want my layout to be landscape, okay? So I want my layout to be landscape. 
So under that landscape layout, I'm going to apply to just this section. I'm going to apply to only this section. And I say, okay. And you can see that this page is now landscape. Okay, so it's great. And this is where the new section started from. These two pages were in the previous section. This is where the section break. You know that this the, the section break had was in was started from here, but because it's the orientation has changed, some of the words have spilled over to a new page. Okay. So basically, wherever the section break ends has gone back to portrait. So we have the landscape for the right up in this section. And before and after that still remains portrait. All right, so this is exactly um, almost three minutes to uh, time up. And if we have last questions, can we just ask? Meanwhile, my president was raising up her hand. I'm going to mute her so she can speak. Um, thank you very much, um, Dr. Ogi. Please, my question is this. Um, just taking you back a little bit. Um, the last session we had, you were talking about um, how to put a formula and you use sample size as an example. You know, when I went back using the same old um, version of, I think Microsoft, it was not exactly like yours. So can we just spend like one minute to just recap that? Okay, that's fine. If um, Nelson will be kind enough to share his screen again for us. Um, I don't mind taking a few minutes to recap on how to insert our formula. So Nelson, would you be able to Thank share you. your screen? Yes, please. Yes, All please. right, thank you so much. Okay, so while Nelson is sharing his screen, can we just um, put in any question we have on the chat box and let's see how we go about that. All right, Nelson has shared his screen. Um, Nelson, I don't know if I'll put you on the spot, but I think I've tutored you guys up to the point I should be able to tutor all that. This gets to peer learning. So let me allow you create a formula, okay? Just speak to us, create a formula, no matter how simple, it can be A over B, but it's something. Okay, so please go ahead. You have the floor. So let me know if you're not comfortable doing that or if you're okay, so perfect. So you need to be talking to us while you're doing it so that we know what you're doing, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope last week I, don't, I, I hope I'll be able to uh okay, no problem. Let me try. Okay, so did, did they see how you just put that thing in there? Can you just start again and tell them where you're going? Okay, yes, I just deleted it. Let me start afresh. All right. So I clicked on insert. Yeah. And another insert, I clicked on the arrow in front of equation here. Okay. And then I now select the type of equation I want to um, insert. So um, I want to insert a simple equation. Okay, so just say new equation, they will fill it up later. So you say insert new equation. So it's blank. Something okay? like a fraction. Exactly. So after he clicked on new equation, he now chose from the options on his screen. So just that X over Y. Um, and he's choosing from the different options there. Okay, go ahead. X over Y. So I can now click on the little boxes and say A, A uh, over B. And then I have it, an equation there. Okay, can you can you increase the size, the font size? Click on it and um, just um, click on those three dots. Yeah, so increase it. Make it very large, please. 
No, 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 not everything. Just, and just that three dots is exactly. So uh, we can make it as large as 20 so that we can actually see it. Yeah. Thank you, that's better. Okay, so can, can we put in the square, the alpha sub subscripts, beta subscripts? Can you try doing something like that? So let's have the sample size formula that says Z alpha plus Z beta all in brackets squared. So let's do that for the numerator. Equation. Then I select the new equation. Then under this. Sorry, help me with the equation again. Okay, so, so I will say fraction. You are setting a fraction. First of all, it is a fraction. It is something over something. Now in the numerator, mm -hmm. we want it to be um this that's Z alpha subscript plus Z beta subscript all in brackets squared. So that's the Z. Mm -hmm. So now you want to put the alpha subscript. So you see this entire um, symbols here. So I'm sure the alpha is somewhere there. Okay, so alpha here. That is alpha, yeah. Then Z alpha subscript. So that, that I don't think that's a subscript. That's a a main alpha. So you may have to click on the arrow beside it. Which okay, so, this? okay, so um, I just want to, the people that have this version of Word, because this is not entirely different from my version, it's almost exactly the same. So I'm sure you have seen, yes, so that's it. That's your subscript. So you can, the up, the up blank ones, the blank ones on top is where you want to be going to. The ones down are the formatted ones, I already have pre-formatted formulas. So if you want the blank so that you can put in whatever you want to put in yourself. So if you have something that has only a subscript, you use the first one. If you have a value that has only a, a superscript, the first one, only a subscript, the second one, both a subscript and a superscript. So if you have Z alpha squared, you use that third one. And in the fourth one, well, those are for um, integrals and all those differentiation things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now he has put in that box. I like the box you put in. So that's even better. So the Z can be in the big box and the alpha in the subscript box. So that is better. So that's what you want to be using so that you are sure that your formula enters the way it should be. So now you put in the alpha there. So you see, practice by doing. Then you put your plus, or if you want plus or minus, you can see the sign at the top left there, just to experiment. So do what we want is just a plus, but let's just insert that so people can see. So you're still inside the subscript box. You've not come out of that subscript box. So you need to go delete it, use your arrow key and press right, exactly. Now you're out, then you can continue your formula. So if you want to put another Z beta, you go back to scripts, and still choose that option of a subscript. Exactly. Now put your Z in the big one and put your beta in the subscript. I hope those of us that were not here last week can actually appreciate what we are doing here. That place he's going to is where we have lots of symbols. Okay. We have lots of symbols there. If you I can see the beta. That's actually the alpha you're looking for. The other one you put is actually the infinity sign, but that's fine. Then you want to put in your, your brackets. So you want to cover the brackets before and after your formula, the bracket to the left and bracket to the right. So you just use your arrow key to move Bracket to the left, bracket. To... Now you want to square the entire content of your brackets. You want to square the entire content of your bracket. So go back to the right of it. Go to scripts. 
go to scripts and choose the superscript option. Exactly. Now copy everything you have in the brackets plus the brackets and put into the main box. Then put your square in the superscript. Exactly, including the bracket. Yeah, so cut it or copy and delete it and paste it inside there. Good, and put your square. Perfect. So now come down and put your D square, which is usually what we have as the denominator. So inside that box, you want to put your script again. You want to choose superscript. Then you want to put your small D, which is the difference you want to detect and your square. Perfect. I feel like giving you an award, Nelson. <laughs> it feels so good when, when you see your students actually doing what you want them to do god bless you all right at least we i know that i have actually made an impact all right any final questions um madam president i don't know if okay i can't see her again i'm sure okay so do we have any final words final questions final comments i know a lot of questions about like um recordings and i've always said that they will be shared we finish a series, we upload for that series, then we start the next year. So we don't share in between, in between um, classes, okay? We don't share in between classes, okay? All right. So if we, in the absence of any final words, please keep practicing as Zoma Ifezu has promised she will. And that's the link that has been posted on the page. For you to join subsequent webinars as the link changes so do we up, um, give out the information so always look out for the information usually it comes on saturdays before that the sunday okay all right thank you so much for joining us today and i hope to see you again next week it has been an interesting time today i hope we've learned one or two things all right, I'm saying someone's hand is or oh, Benjamin. All right, so give us a final word before we go. Go ahead, Benjamin. You can unmute. Hello? Can, yes, Benjamin, go ahead, please. So thank you very much for all your efforts. You're welcome. Benjamin. Hello. We can hear uh, you. Please record the message, record the message of so can pray this on our own. Yes, I just talked about Hello? that. I mentioned it just now. I said we finish a series, we upload everything for that series. We don't upload in between um, a series. So just bear with us, okay? Someone else was raising up their hands. All right. All right, thank you very much, Benjamin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Nelson. Now, in short, I'm going to always look out for you. They are going to always like join us in our sessions and keep practicing. Okay. All right, keep practicing. You don't know who you will call on next time to be a co-host and to help us in our peer-to-peer -peer learning. I wish us all a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. And let's just say a brief prayer before we go. Father, we thank you for today's session. Thank you, even as you've helped us to get to this stage. We ask your infinite mercy that you will preserve us even onto the next session and beyond. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Good night, everyone. I'll see you next week. <laughs>